Uh, welcome to Discovery Park. My name is Ken Timmons. I'm a sun guide. That stands for Seattle Urban Nature Guide. Uh, that just means I've been through some training where I can interpret it and sort of talk about things in the park. And today we're going to talk about uh, the history of Discovery Park going back 4,000 years ago when Native Americans were using the park as a place to live and gather food. There is um, a wastewater treatment plant here in Discovery Park called West Point. And um, in the early 90s, they were expanding that uh, treatment plant. And they were digging a trench, and they were trying to lay a new pipeline. Um, there, were, um, there were people in the area that noticed uh, uh, the, this thick layer of crushed shells and bone, and that's called a midden. And a midden is typically just used as a, a trash heap. It's, it's a place that people would put their extra, you know, clam shells or bones when they were finished uh, either eating or, or making tools. And so they stopped um, construction and they did a, an evaluation to find out if there was anything of importance in that midden layer. And they did evaluate the site and they found artifacts that were both decorative and ornamental, uh, beads and pendants and bone uh, bracelet fragments. And they also found gaming pieces. And so at the end of the evaluation, they had evidence uh, the scientists had evidence going back 4,000 years that um, there were Native Americans in this area uh, known as the Coast Salish. And those um, are people that are the ancestrals of the, the present-day Duwamish, the Muckleshoot, Suquamish, um, and they lived here and who lived in this mainland shore area of central Puget Sound. 